Read it again from the top. So you said, what you say? What's your name again? Brother Ron. Brother Ron. Yeah. So you saying that this is not a commandment? I'm saying that that is not a commandment. And what's the purpose of the commandments? What the purpose of the commandments? Yeah. To keep. Why do we have the commandments? As a law. As a law for what? But that's, that's, that's for us to do them, right? That's not blue. You have on brother's purpose. This right here is not blue. Fringes and the border of blue. Listen clear. Look, listen carefully. We're gonna read it again. I want you to listen carefully. Speak unto the children of Israel. So this is the most high God giving Moses instruction. He says, Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel is who? Us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? We understand that part, right? Y'all understand that? You understand that? Read. And bid them and bid them. What does bid mean? Tell. Tell? What does bid mean? Okay. Uh, like, to, uh, to speak out. Inform. What does bid mean? To speak, bro. Somebody look, look that up. Look, look, give me the definition of bid. Bid is another word for command. Bid them, instruct them. Right. Even if you tell them, if I tell my son to do something, that's a commandment. It's direction. Do it, not an option. Read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So he said, bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. Tell them to put fringes on the border of their garment. Not give them an option. That's right. it's, it's not optional. It's a command. It's, not it's an instruction. Do it. You got children? Why you got on the mat? You got children? Why you got on the mat? Do you have children? Why do you not have on the mat? I'm teaching right now. Do you have children? Why you have on the mat? I don't have a mask on. Huh? We're talking about God's commandments and you bringing about you bring up man's orders. Why do you not have on the mat? So now you don't want to hear the commandments? I gotta wait for you. Now look, the word so no, God, we're talking the about the commandments, God, and you're bringing up man's commandments. You want to see what's Jesus and on the God was God. Now, if the Most High is saying give on to Caesar what is Caesar, He commanded you to do that, bro. Caesar so law said. So now you, man. so now you that's dodging, the, you dodging the issue, you dodging the thing ahead, because now you, you see you being called out. So now you want to dodge and dip and dunk, run. You want to duck and run. I'm telling you, read this definition. Read. Read that again, because until no, because now you you proven wrong, so now you want to jump to something else. Read that. I'm saying the same. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the question, the question is about the word bid. You say tell them. You got children. If you tell your child, your son, your daughter to clean their room child. and they say, I ain't cleaning your room, that's an option. What you going to do? That's, a, that's a disobedience. That's yeah. disobedience. Exactly. Yeah, that's the same thing, bro. Same thing. Read that. Read you the definition of bid, the second one. Bid, command, or order someone to do something. Read it again. Command or order someone to do something. Bid means to command or order someone to do something. Wearing fringes is a commandment of God, and you don't have them. You're, you're lifting up the commandment of men above the commandments of God. Bring it out. It's not in this Bible. So you're saying that, that wearing that mask is more important than you putting fringes on your garment? Are you saying that wearing that mask is more important than putting on your fringes in border of blue? Which is a commandment of God. Having fringes around my way is more important than serving the most high. You say I can't go to heaven Where, no. if I don't have, you're, if you're I don't have the semantics. Wearing fringes in the border of blue shows your belief in the Most High God. It shows that you love God. Give me Sirach chapter 32 and 24. Because you say you believe that you say you believe in this Bible. You say you believe in God. You say you, you believe in Yahshua. But you're not doing what he said to do. You're not saying doing what he said to do. I am doing what he said to do. How am I? How are you doing it? I'm keeping the Sabbath day holy. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Are you keeping the Sabbath day holy? 
Yeah, about standing here talking to you. That's what. What was you doing before we was doing we came what, out here? What was you doing before? Just like, just like when a man was caught in adultery Read in that. the garden. And this is the book of Sirach, chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-four. He that believeth in the Lord, he that believeth in the Lord. You believe in the Lord? I believe in the Lord. Almighty. You believe in the Lord? You believe in the Lord? Read. Take it heed to the commandment. Take it heed to the commandment. Meaning when you hear the commandment, you don't jump to something else or jump over here, make up this excuse. No, you apply the commandment. You take heed. You take caution. I'm reading the, I'm reading the words of God. My word don't mean nothing. But the, when the, the Bible means something. That's right. Read. On, hey, on the and he that trusted in him well, shall fail never the worst. When you keep the commandments yeah, of God, yeah, ain't no evil well, gonna befall you. Well, That's I go right. Hell when I have fringes at the bottom of my shirt. When you go to Romans yeah. chapter six and twenty-three, uh -huh. we just established that fringes is a commandment, correct? Read it up, read it up. Fringes are a commandment, correct? Let's so, go. Uh, bring so, it up. so the people on the cross had fringes. Fringes are a commandment, so correct? So the people on the cross had fringes. Romans God. chapter 6 verse 23 Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death What is a wage? A payment. a payment If you go if you go clock in And work 8 hours After you work those 8 hours what You get you get paid for what the 8 hours you work So the wages of sin What is sin? Exactly Let's read that out the Bible So we know that it came from the Bible Hold that and get 1 John 5 and 3 He said the wages of sin Is death Let's see what sin is Because my brother here Is making excuses Excuses after excuse About not keeping One simple commandment It's simple to put fringes on your clothes And put a border of blue on that Read Right. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin, transgression, authors, also the law. Whoever commits sin, transgress the law. If you refuse to put fringes on in a border of blue, you transgress God's laws. Right. Bring it out. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So when you break God's rules, when you leave his instruction, the knowledge that you lack is these laws. That's why you don't have no understanding. Let's go back to Romans 6 and 23. It's the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. So when you break God's commandments, you will die. And this ain't talking about no physical death. This ain't talking about the death of your physical body. This is talking about your soul burning in hell because you refuse to do what your father told you to do. Right. Bring it out. You understand that? A simple commandment, a simple commandment, it takes about five minutes to put fringes on your clothes in a border of blue. Bring it out. Is it, is it, is it that, is it, is it that? I'm gonna go to hell when I have fringes around my clothes. I'm gonna let you know this, bro. We got too many Young brothers down out here on the street, and you telling me in a market that I gotta walk around looking like a clown with a, with an outfit on like that, bro? I'm out here getting down and dirty, preaching the word of God. You standing up there on the platform with a microphone in your mouth. What you think the truth is? It's speaking God's word and truth, bro. It's and what's his? What's, what is the truth? You're not sitting up there. You had a tag team with yeah. these brothers. We ain't in no tag team. We out here to Isaiah 58 and, 58 and 1. We out here doing what the Most High God required of us. The, the reason our people is out here game banking, shooting each other down in the streets, strung out on drugs, being winos, waking up drinking, and going to sleep drinking. We're fighting, bro. We're in this destruction because we refuse to keep God's love. Hey, bro. Hey. In a, in a book of Matthew, bro, it's that man. Bring it out. Cry aloud. The Bible says cry aloud. That's why we got this speaker out here. So everybody out here can hear. The children of Israel need to hear this because we tried everything else. We go out to the Christian church. And the Christian church got us food, thinking we ain't got to apply the commandments. The, the Christian church got us food, thinking that, oh, we got a relationship with God. No, you ain't got no relationship with God if you ain't keeping his commandments. We ain't hearing you. Read. Cry aloud. Spare not. Cry aloud and spare not. We preach this word no matter how you feel. We don't know. You listen for right now. Read. 
Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a loud instrument. A loud instrument is a trumpet. And that's what we're doing. We. And show my people there's transgression. And show my people their transgression. And show my people their transgression. We are doing what we supposed to be doing. We are showing our people their transgression. That's the only way our people gonna change. That's the only way our young men are not gonna stop dying on the streets if they apply the commandments. Read. In the house of Jacob, their sins. The house of Jacob is the children of Israel. The That's blacks, right. Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's, That's right. why we out here doing. We're supposed to be doing. We just read the word of God. And you refuse to listen. John 9 and 31. Because you you are fool. You are fool. You think that you know God. You think you think you know You think that you know God, but you don't. But you don't. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Bring it out. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. What is sin? What is sin? Because you're not keeping the commandments. If you repent, you can still repent, bro. You can still repent. But you refuse to you refuse to repent. I'm a liar. I'm the devil because I'm telling you the truth. I'm a liar and I'm a fool. I'm a, I'm a liar and I'm a devil because I'm telling you the truth. I'm a liar and I'm a devil because I'm telling you the truth. Because you refuse to keep the commandment. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. God only hears those that's oh, keeping man. his commandments. He ain't hearing nothing else. You can send up all the prayers you want. You can say Yahshua, Yahweh, you can say all the names you want. But if you're not applying the commandments, the Most High God is not hearing you. The Most High God is not hearing you. Give me Psalms 119 and verse 9. Because the only way our people going to change, the only way our young men are going to stop dying, it was they, when they turn to this Bible and start applying it. Are you teaching our people to apply the commandments? No. All you're doing is quoting scriptures. You know different from the Christian church? That's every block in our communities. What you're saying is Christianity. You don't even understand that. Everything that you're saying out your mouth is Christianity. Read. It's the book of Psalms 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Wherewithal shall a young black man cleanse his way? Wherewithal shall a young black man stop murdering his people on the streets? Wherewithal shall a young man, a young black man stop selling drugs to his people? How you gonna cleanse his way? Read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. By taking caution not to break the commandments. That's how a young man go clean his way. Read. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let not my let not wonder from thy commandments. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandments. So he says. Or with my whole heart have I sought thee. Meaning David, he put his, all his mind, all his thought process to study in the commandments so that he can apply it. So that he don't go against the word of God. What? Read. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Then he said, the word I hid in my heart. The heart is your mind. Yeah. According to Mark 7 and 21. What? He yeah. said, well, in my mind, in my, read it again. Thy word have I hid in my heart. He said, the word I hid in my heart. Why did he hide the God's word in his heart? That I might not sin against thee. That I might not sin against thee. Meaning he had to apply the commandments. It wasn't just he, he, he learned the scriptures so he can quote them and parakeet them. No, he learned them so that he can apply them. Go to uh, verse 60. No, 59. I thought on my ways. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. He said, David said, I thought on my ways and I turned my feet to your testimonies. So meaning that David reflected. He thought on what he was doing and anything that didn't line up with the commandments, he applied. Right. He adjusted. He changed. Read. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So he said, I made haste and I delayed not to keep your commandments. Meaning David understood that when he thought on God's ways, when he meditated on the, on the laws, he knew that he understood that he had to apply it. And he had to do it in haste. 
because we don't know if we our, tomorrow is not promised to neither one of us. That's, That's right. right. We don't have until tomorrow to get ourselves right. We got to get ourselves right today. That's Give me right. Leviticus 19 and 17. After this, you can come back up. Leviticus 19 and 17. Because my brother, my brother mentioned that we got our young men dying in the streets. Why are they dying in the streets? Because they're not applying the commandments. They turn into gangs. They turn. They turn into gangs because they 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 lack the father in the house. They turn into drugs. They turn into everything but the commandments of God. And the reason they turn against the Bible, most reason the, the reason that most of our people turn away from the Bible because they grew up seeing their grandparents and their grandparents with in hypocrisy, with a Bible laying open on a bookshelf and they weren't applying not one commandment. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen. Verse 18, 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. It says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. This is a commandment. What goes on in the streets of Chicago? Why do why do our young men get shot down? Hatred. Exactly. They hate each other. How you got a brother that's a, a GD, you got a brother that's a BD. Same color, but they beefing with each other. They fighting against one another. You got, you got young men gossiping in the streets and then because somebody heard something, now they finna go and shoot somebody down. Bring it out. Somebody cut you off in traffic. Now it's road is a roadway incident. Somebody chasing you down and you your car get shot up. Right. That's hatred. But it's the Bible. The commandments say thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. That's if we apply right. just this commandment. The murder rate will go down in all the cities across America, not just in Chicago. Read. Teach. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Yeah. So if somebody came and said, Amen, I heard brother such and such did this to you. Go and talk to your brother, find out if it's true. Yeah. And if it is true, y'all make peace. Yeah. That's how we support, that's loving your neighbor. We neighbors and we don't even realize it. It don't even make sense. Bring it out. You look just like me. You got the same color skin as I do, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go grab my gun and shoot you. We're killing ourselves off because we refuse to apply the commandments. Bring it out. And even going back to a simple commandment that's putting fringes on your garment. That's, that's strange and terrible to our people. They don't identify with it. And the thing is, not having it is strange and terrible for the Most High God. That's right. And right. he will put us to death for that. Right. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. Don't suffer your brother to be in sin. Don't have hatred in your heart. Even if you see your brother commit a murder, it's your responsibility to go and tell the police. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.